Bob, uh, uh, congratulations on, on that award and also your 35th year, I believe, on television and also right. winning uh, an Emmy last week, which I know... Uh, this is, the, this is a, quite, a, quite a week. I think I, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Bob, um, it's very odd for me talking to a man who uh, is probably one of the world's most famous men, and yet there are some areas that are grey areas we don't know about. I mean, how did a kid born in Eltham, Kent, get to such an elevated position? And why did you leave England at the age of four years? Well, it was either that or marry the girl. <laughs> I, you know, you know what, I, what I always say, that I left England when I was four because there was very little chance of me becoming king. <laughs> Would you ever consider yourself uh, running for president, Bob? No, Des, the money is not right. <laughs> And, be and besides, and besides, my wife wouldn't want to move to a smaller house. <laughs> well, you made, what, over, over 60 movies. If they ever made a, a, a film, the Bing Crosby and Bob, let me get that right, the Bob Hope and Bing Crosby story, <laughs> who do you reckon would be, uh, who would you personally choose to play Bob Hope? Yeah, well... I don't know, I guess uh, maybe uh, Tom Selleck, if they could make him look younger. <laughs> well, we're on the subject of, of the male sex symbol. What do you think of today's ones, the, the ones that the kids, you know, uh, revere, people like Michael Jackson? Is he... Uh, oh, is... Michael Jackson is something else, I'll tell you. I just learned how to moonwalk myself, which I didn't do. <laughs> but we have, Michael is something, we have a lot in common, Michael. I did a commercial for Geritol and my girdle caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> did that news come over there by... <laughs> I think, I think he'd, uh, he wouldn't run, he'd, he'd more or less, he'd stagger more or less. <laughs> And Frank Sinatra, I mean, you spent, you've done all the shows with Frank, and he appears with you. He's a difficult man to pin down and get on a show. Um, is there any particular memory you have of Frank? Of Sinatra? Yeah. Oh, yes. Is there I, well, I played golf with him. He's, he's a little heavier now, but I used to play golf with him when he was uh, thin, and uh, the caddy kept sticking him back in the bag. <laughs> Frank has done awfully good. Do you see yourself hanging up your writers, uh, in other words, uh, calling it a day in, in, in the imminent future, or are you going to do a, a George Burns and be with us? For a while? I've hung my writers many times. <laughs> <laughs> After a lot of shows. No, I'm not doing that. And George Burns, George Burns is my model, you know? He's in his second childhood, and he's dating people in their first childhood. <laughs> He's great. Bob, um, I don't know whether I should ask you this, but George Burns, uh, but you're, they're always doing gags about George, and I want to ask you this. Is George Burns still active? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know whether he is or not. He might be, but I don't know whether George knows. <laughs> Well, Bob, let, let me... I've got to take that further, then. If George doesn't know... Do, do you know if Bob Hope... Uh, Bob, are you uh, still... Uh, still active? <laughs> you can. You know, you know, Doug, I'll do it.